Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Um, my name is Trish, for those of you who I have not yet met in the group. I'm one of the seven point nutrition coaches. And one of my favorite things to share in this group is different recipes because I feel like we're always searching for something new and to keep things creative um, and to just keep things exciting for our family also. So I'm gonna share one of my favorite recipes. Um, it's a barbecue chicken recipe, and I love this for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's easy. You guys will find that most of my recipes have very few ingredients, and it's just easy because I'm all about I'm all about easy, um, and it is um, really versatile. So once you make it, it can be put into a lot of different uh, meals and into a lot of different meal prep recipes that you might have. So I will share that with you. Hi, Lacey. So here we go. So besides the chicken, it only has four ingredients, which I am all, all about, all right? So in a crock, now I'm gonna do mine in the crock pot. You can do it in an instant pot if that is your preferred method of making chicken. But I have my big old crock pot here. I've actually already made it, so I'll show you the finished product. Um, but besides the chicken, raw chicken breast, there's four ingredients. So inside the crock pot, I put in a cup of barbecue sauce. And honestly, it can be whatever barbecue sauce that you want. My favorite is Stubbs barbecue sauce, and this one is a mesquite flavor, but you can use whatever flavor you want. So it's a cup of barbecue sauce, and then it's a, um, a fourth of a cup of a light Italian dressing. Fourth of a cup of that, a fourth cup of coconut sugar. If you guys haven't ever used coconut sugar, I like to use this in a lot of my recipes. It tastes like brown sugar and kind of smells like brown sugar, has kind of that same like um, caramel, taste to it. Um, so you can you can use this, it's on the baking aisle, or you can use brown sugar, but it's a fourth cup of that. And then it's two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I always hope that I say that right. So it's just those four ingredients. So what I do is I just put it in my crock pot, stir it all up together, and then I put in about two and a half to three pounds of raw chicken breast, and then stir it up again just to make sure that the chicken breasts are covered with the, the sauce. And then I put the lid on and I turn it on and let it do its thing. So I usually do it for on high for four hours. If you're gonna you know, do it in the morning and walk away from it, put it on low, do it for six to eight hours. And then like I said, you can also do it in your Instant Pot, okay? So once it's done, this is where the magic happens. This is my favorite little trick for shredding chicken. Get out your hand mixer. We all have one of these from either our college days or when we got married. <laughs> so get out this and I literally will just stick it in there and kind of like mush it up a little bit. Turn this baby on and it will shred your chicken in seconds. Now you can put it in a KitchenAid also. I heard that that works great. I don't like to add any more dishes to my sink and so I just do it right in the crock pot. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's done. So it ends up just being just a really nice shredded chicken. And like I said, easy, so that was easy. That took me like maybe two minutes to put together. And then here's a couple of ideas for you on um, what we use it for. I'll just put it in a container and put it in my fridge, but we'll do it like with rice bowls. So with um, rice and beans and like some corn and avocado and salsa, or you can do it in a salad. It's great in a salad. Um, I've also made quesadillas out of it. I've put it with eggs. I've just served it with um, sauteed veggies, you can do tacos. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do. My family all loves it, and there you go. Okay, uh, I will put the um, recipe down in the comments if you maybe missed that part or didn't wanna write it down, so you can try it and then let me know what you think, all right? Okay, I'm sure you could hear George growling in the background. <laughs> go take care of him. All right, guys, have a good day, bye.